we started writing these songs probably a couple of weeks after we met and it was so just DIY like never could have imagined that we would play this music with an orchestra like 10 years later and we feel really lucky to take this album across North America and when we made this music we didn't have any expectation it was just pure fun it's also nice to play with an orchestra it's different and you kind of like it's in between the orchestra and you have like 40 people around you doing stuff. So many people. Yeah, and it's a different dynamics are different in yeah. that kind of space and like the surround feeling of what's happening in the ensemble. Just strings. I really enjoy the overtones. We only met Rob Eames a year ago. He's really amazing. He's so easy to work with. He always finds creative solutions around every problem. And really open. To he's so there. open. Yeah. And you're right, it doesn't really. It should be... When David Handler orchestrated, he he basically translated all the like a field recordings we had on the album for instruments, classical instruments and stuff. So. I've been in and around orchestras my whole life, so I think orchestrally, when it comes as a composer, to have the trust, the faith from Alex and Yonsi in my ability, my ears and head and heart to do right by their very intimate opus, you know, atmospheric as it can be and, and uh, expansive as it is, it's a very intimate piece, I find. Made some changes to those original arrangements based on conversations I had with, with Alex and Yonsi. And we're doing it in album order, which is great and ambitious and wonderful. You know, first order of business was getting what is an hour plus worth of electronics, field recordings and samples. Um, and giving it all, putting it all on paper. And then the real fun comes where you're trying to simulate extra musical sounds. I've got everything from whirly tubes to bags of glass and bird collars, and hearth bellows. Looking forward to uh, hitting North America, maybe playing a few of those shows myself. It's my absolute pleasure to introduce you to the Doxy and Alexa. It seems that everything just comes together and clicks when Yonsi and Alex are, are playing because so much of what they do is ambient and textual but it's really the heart of what the music is. I used to listen to the Rice Boy Sleeps album as a young man so it's like part of my musical journey. Rice Boy Sleeps works really well orchestrally, really deep music, there's, there's so many layers. Obviously symphonic orchestra is kind of this amazing musical experience because you've got so many musicians and so many different types of musicians all playing together and I feel that Rice Boy Sleeps lends itself beautifully to that. There's space within the music for the musicians to be quite free. All Animals EP by Yonsi and Alex, they very kindly trusted me and gave me the freedom to, to orchestrate it and it's been an amazing experience. Again the music's really really layered, I think I ended up about 150 layers <laughs> at some point. So far we've done four shows and it's been really fun. Audiences have been really nice and um, we have one like surprise performance element and that's been kind of a thrill to get freaky. <laughs> <laughs>